How you guys doing? Welcome back to Country Mash. I hope you guys have been awesome and today we're talking about some of the best belts that I have ever worn. Oh, and this shirt is from Howitzer Clothing. Go check them out. So full disclosure, before I get into it, other than obviously how it's your clothing sent me this shirt to wear in my videos, I honestly do love these shirts. Um, I got three of them and I like I want to buy more. Like they are awesome. They're really comfortable. Okay, anyways, I wasn't even meaning to talk about that. They just, I like these shirts. Um, so full disclosure, other than that, I guess, um, if you guys want one of these, I'll put a link down in the description. So the belts were sent to me from Blue Alpha Gear for review. Now, I'm gonna be honest and just say, I wasn't looking to review something like a belt and I honestly, before I had these, was never really interested in a, a dedicated EDC belt or a belt dedicated for firearms and carry, uh, CCW, stuff like that. I honestly just got away with um, 5.11 nylon webbing belts or um, even just leather belts, uh, stuff from you know Walmart or Cabela's or standard belt you know what i mean and so um i i was in contact with them i even met them actually at uh indianapolis and ram this year and they're awesome dudes and um it's been about four months now i think since i got them in and i've been wearing them every single day one or the other obviously not both um but at least one or the other every single day um if not both throughout the day sometimes um, i like to switch it up depending on what i'm doing and so every single day I have worn these belts and I feel confident enough to give you guys my review and opinion on these. Um, for stuff that's everyday carry, like something that's really integrated into your everyday life, I do like to dive a little bit deeper in my reviews to get um, a more thorough experience so I could give you guys a more thorough review on here. So. I'm ready to give you guys my review now on these two belts. So we're gonna jump into the specs and details between these belts, or the specs and details on these belts. I'll talk about the similarities, um, everything they have in common, and then I'll go over each individual belt because there are two different ones that I have, and I'll go over their differences, and, um, and then I'll just share my experience with you, the pros and cons of each, which one I, I, which one I use more. I'm not gonna say which one I, I think is best because they are different. Um, but uh, yeah, so let's jump into it uh, by talking about some of the specs and details of these belts. First and foremost, I should mention that all of their belts are hand sewn in the USA. The two belts that I have are made of two layers of one and a half inch nylon that have been sewn and bonded together. They are sizing specific, but with the Velcro adjustment, you are going to have some wiggle room to adjust the size. They also take into consideration the bulk of your firearm when choosing a size. So that way, if you're anticipating to carry a firearm, you don't need to order up a size in order to make room. They already have that into consideration in that wiggle room with the Velcro adjustment. So it is advised to just order your normal waist size. They also do custom sizes. If you don't see a size on there that you're looking for, they offer several different colors. And I did choose black, and that's because these are EDC belts. And for me, I do wear these every single day. So I want them to work with many different uh, types of clothing. I'm not gonna say outfits, cause that's, no, I don't wear outfits. But you guys know what I mean. I, I want my belts to work with a lot of different stuff. So I chose black, but they do have uh, a variety of colors. And the last thing that they share in common, which I think is pretty awesome, is a lifetime, no questions asked warranty. So now that we talked about the similarities, let's talk about some of the differences that set these belts apart from each other. So with the low profile EDC belt, obviously it's low profile, it's slim, it's less bulky, and it's lighter weight. The buckle is made out of plastic and the main attachment system on this belt is just the Velcro. So the buckle is really just a loop system for the nylon to double back on and attach to itself with the Velcro. 
When I measured the plastic buckle myself, I measured it at one and seven eighths inches, which is slim enough to go through the belt loops on a lot of my pants. I do find this belt to be extremely comfortable, and the price for this belt is only $34.97, which I do think is a great deal for such a high quality and well-constructed belt. The hybrid EDC belt uses a hybrid Cobra buckle, which is a Cobra buckle with a smaller female buckle that is small enough to fit through your belt loops, and it really does fit through your belt loops easily. When I measured them, the female buckle measures at one and a half inches wide, while the male side of the buckle measures at two inches wide. The hybrid Cobra buckle itself is made out of CNC machined 7075 aluminum, so it is very heavy duty and I'm really impressed with the nice smooth edges. So while this belt is heavier duty than the low profile EDC belt, it is still very refined and very comfortable to wear. And the cost of the hybrid EDC belt is $69.97, but you are gaining a lot with that hybrid Cobra buckle. So let's talk about my experience and which one I gravitate to, the problems I've had with them. Let's kind of talk about it all. So as I mentioned before, for the last four months, I have worn these belts every single day for everything. If I went backpacking up in the soft tooth where I almost died, I was wearing one of these belts. When I'm going to the grocery store or the gas station, I'm wearing one of these belts. When I go out shooting to test all these other optics and firearms, I'm wearing one of these belts. And so these belts really have um, done everything that I would ever possibly do on a normal basis and even an abnormal basis. And um, I'll just, uh, so I, I can't tell you which one is my favorite. But what I can tell you guys is that the one, okay, so when I first got them in, I gravitated towards the hybrid EDC belt. Um, naturally, the uh, heavy duty buckle that is slim enough to fit through your uh, belt loops is attractive and I like you know heavy duty durable things that you know aren't super bulky and don't weigh a lot and I just to me it seemed like the better option but as time went on I started trying out the low profile belt and just slipping that on and I noticed it was just a little bit faster a little bit lighter weight a little bit more discreet and as the time went on I just found myself gravitating towards the low profile EDC belt. I don't know what it is about it. It's it's so simple, um, but it is it is rugged, it is strong, um, because they do have that double layered nylon. They are stiff enough to hold up any gear that you're gonna have on there, so it's not gonna sag on you, but they are also flexible enough to be extremely comfortable. And so this belt, Again, I can't say is my favorite, but the low profile EDC belt is the one that I definitely gravitate to the most. I also appendix carry my firearms almost exclusively, um, except for the times that I carry on the outside of my waistband when I'm at the range, that's a different situation. But when I conceal carry, it's, uh, it's appendix carry. And so that may be another reason why I gravitate towards this guy over this one that does have a buckle that gets in the way. However, I'll show you guys right here, when I do wear belts with buckles like this, um, even before I got these belts in, I actually wear them off to the side a little bit and so it does get them out of the way when you're carrying appendix. So therefore it's not really an issue. However, you are adding some more bulk and some more weight with this option. Another reason why I think I may gravitate towards the low profile EDC belt is because if you ever go through airports or courtrooms or anywhere that has metal detectors and you gotta strip off anything that has metal, um, most times you can leave this on. However, I actually have had at an airport, um, I've had them ask me to take this off and they searched it because they actually, I, I assume they thought this was one of those belts that you can like hide stuff in, like a ninja belt, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. So I have had to take this off, but obviously if you're wearing this belt with a big metal buckle, you're guaranteed to have to take this off and put it in your little tray and, and ride it through. So um, plastic is a bonus for that reason. And the last reason I probably gravitate towards the low profile EDC belt is simply because it is low profile. If you're a normal guy or girl like me, not not a normal girl like me, but you know what I mean. If you don't have washboard abs, you're standard human being, and you bend over, um, you're more likely gonna feel this 
than this guy. And this buckle on the hybrid Cobra um, definitely does not jab into you by any means. However, you can feel it. And especially in the winter time when this can get very cold, I don't always have a shirt that's tucked in. And therefore that's what made this belt uh, more desirable for me. So um, with all of that said, there's no way that I could tell you guys that the low profile EDC belt is better um, simply because this is such a well-made belt it is heavier duty it will do more for you um, it's a it's actually a quieter system uh, now that i think about it and that you're not using the velcro system as your main attachment point so you're able to just use the buckle to take it off rather than you hear that every single time and so it really is not the end of the world for me. Like I'm not a, uh, I'm not James Bond. I'm not a secret assassin, you know, trying to go stealth mode. Um, but you do have that if you ever get home late and your significant other is sleeping or you're just trying to be quiet, don't want to wake up the kids. Um, it's not super quiet. So maybe, maybe this would be the better option. Um, it's just a little buckle. You can even make it quiet putting it on by holding the tabs in. Um, but really, those are the only things I really noticed. And the only con I could possibly think of, which I can't really see a con with this guy. Um, I mean, like I talked about the metal detector and stuff like that. To me, that's not really a con. The only con or potential flaw, I guess I, sh I should say, is on the low profile EDC belt. And that's because you are going back and forth with Velcro every day to put it on and take it off and so velcro does wear out velcro does get dirty and velcro can grab other things and so i have some some cheap shorts that i got from walmart they're not the best material and so when i'm slipping this on my waist the rough and hard part of the velcro um you know hits the underside of some of my belt loops and that may wear away at my shorts it may add, um, it, it, you know, stuff might get stuck in this Velcro and then uh, you got to pluck it out, clean it every once in a while, which it's not a big deal. But it's all stuff that you have to take into consideration and stuff you guys should be aware of. So I want to get all that stuff out there. Um, it's kind of share with you guys my experience. I love these belts. They have definitely changed how I carry um, my firearm every day. And even if I'm at home and I'm not carrying my firearm that second, these belts are just awesome, awesome belts. I mean, like they're just super comfortable. I know they're always gonna be um, dependable. The fact that they have lifetime warranties and um, yeah, I'm, I'm in love with these belts. I definitely, definitely recommend these Blue Alpha Gear belts. So I will put links down in the description box if you guys are interested. As of right now, they are not affiliate links, um, but I, I do recommend these belts for sure. And so I'll, I'll throw those down there for you guys. And if there's anything that I missed, if you guys have any comments or questions, I'd love to hear them down in the comment section below, or I guess the comment section isn't even down below anymore. It's like a little button at least on my phone my update it's it's different Has, has anyone else had that had that issue okay sorry so that's it for the video guys i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did go ahead and hit that like button thank you to everyone who has subscribed to the channel i seriously love you guys and i hope you guys have a great rest of your day i'll see you next time